am super, super excited. Actually, y'all, it is super exciting. And I know I always say this. I know I say every day is an exciting day because it really do be. But y'all, today is actually an exciting, exciting, exciting day. And I'm super, super, super happy. It is 10, as y'all can see, 10 44 a.m. in the morning, so it's pretty early in the morning still. I'm about to get ready to get ready. Harry will get ready because I have to be out by 11.30 to make it to where I gotta be on time. But let me read y'all to do list. Let me sit y'all down and let me read y'all to do list, y'all. <laughs> I am super, super excited. The first thing I'm doing today is I'm going to look at houses. I'll explain more about that in my little sit down because y'all know my little sit down, the girl talk, catching y'all up, my life update. Like, I got so much to tell y'all because your girl at this point in life, where it's like, your girl is 27. And at the end of the day, I ain't gonna do Y'all, I pay my own insurance. Y'all already know how I feel about that. It's just a lot. And I just really have to, you know, start adulting and doing the adult things and the appropriate things that make sense when it comes to my money, when it comes to just everything in general. Like, y'all, I'm a full adult and I have to, you know, carry myself as such. And it's time for your girl to step in this new lane. But yes, I'm going to look for houses today. And I'm just like, this is crazy. Like, <laughs> So yes, I'm going to tour homes at 12 o'clock, so I need to be leaving here by like 11.30 so that I can make it to meet my realtor on time. I also wanna stop by Starbucks before I do that. And then, y'all, I gotta go get these donuts. I wanna go to this new donut place that opened in Atlanta, but I've been there already, but what I wanted, they didn't have in stock. So I was supposed to get a little refund, but they never gave me my refund. So I was just thinking like, maybe I could just roll up there and be like, hey, y'all supposed to give me a refund, y'all didn't, but if y'all had these, you know, donuts right here in stock, you can just go ahead and slap me donuts and y'all ain't gotta worry about the refund. So that's what I'm gonna do because I really wanna try the donuts. And then, I mean, I might as well try them on the blog vlog for y'all while I'm here. Gonna do that probably after my tours. Gonna go to the donut shop, well, Starbucks before, donuts, so I can go pick up my donuts that I never got and that I really wanna try. And then I also need to stop by my office because I got some packages there. And then I'm gonna come back and do the sit down. Like, I got so much to catch y'all up on and just really give y'all the spill on. But yes, the main, main, major part of this vlog is pretty much me going to look at homes and tour places to purchase because it's that time y'all it's that time and i'm just super 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 happy and super excited because it's just like such a major thing like yes i bought land before but that was like that was an old chapter y'all this is a new chapter and i'm just super excited to you know buy a property on my own like by myself like that is just so crazy to hear y'all like but i know what y'all thinking I'll, i know what's going through your head but i'm gonna catch y'all up on every single thing when i do my little sit down and when i come back so yes right now I'm about to get ready to do my morning routine. So y'all, I am still legit living out of my luggage, my freaking toiletry bag, cause I haven't unpacked it yet. But y'all know like, I just got back from LA, literally like a day ago. And then on top of that, before LA, I went to San Antonio. So I never, I just haven't had time to just unpack all my stuff and put all my stuff where it belongs and where it was before I packed it up. So now I'm just really just digging out of my luggage and digging out of my toiletry bag for the things that I really, really need. Like my toothbrush, like my toothpaste, all of that is here. I just officially, officially unpacked. But yes, y'all. I went around the world. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty much on the go. So that is why I'm leaving it out of my suitcase. All right, y'all. So this is what I'm wearing. I got in my gold jewelry details. My little gold bangles. And y'all, I'm about to put on this perfume. This is like my new perfume. It literally was delivered when I got back from LA. And so I'm so happy because y'all, this smells so freaking. When I said it smells so good, y'all, it smells good. But it's not like a spray perfume. It's just like this little thingy right here. You just dabble on you. I guess it's good for me, y'all, because y'all know when I have a little spray, I spray a whole can in one day, baby. But this is gonna limit your girl right here. Huh? So I'm put a little of this on my little arm, behind my ears, on my chest. But this is what I think I'm going with to wear, y'all. I'm gonna go upstairs and get my purse. But this is just a little jean denim romper. So I think this is good to wear to my showings. And I don't feel like doing no makeup because now I need it. The bob is bobbing. And I'm ready to go. I would like to point out how, look at these, y'all. I'm gonna have to fold them up, but child, these days, I mean, I can't find pants that literally already come, I guess, hemmed up over my freaking feet. Like, they be so freaking long. So now, I'm gonna have to just roll them up until I take them to get tailored. Cause child, what is this? You can't even see the shoe. All right, so this is the full look, y'all. I'm wearing main event, L-O-R-B-A-E, copper pill, because baby, she a main event, baby. I gotta walk in this joint like, eh. I gotta walk in here like a girl, gotta approval, baby. 
So y'all see the bag I'm wearing, which is why I'm wearing my shoes, cause y'all know my favorite combo, baby. The favorite freaking combo. She ready, let's go. All right, y'all, so I've made it to the Starbucks, and the Starbucks I'm at doesn't have a drive through so I have to go in and get my drink. But it is 11.52, and I'm only like a few seconds away from where I'm to and first, so it's cool. I'm gonna be on time, y'all. So I'm about to get ready to go in and get my drink because it's no drive through so I have no choice but to go in. So let's go. y'all so i got my drink y'all already know what i got my peach green tea with lemonade extra 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 sweet so now i'm about to get ready here i'm done now because it's 11:56. all right y'all so i just pulled up about to get ready to go in and meet my realtor at the sales place and let's go things for a nice kitchen. I would change some things for a nice kitchen. All I need is a nice kitchen and a nice closet and I'll be straight. Which, yes, so it's a full water room. Ooh. So you shower, it's called a water room, and you shower and you take your bath all in the same room. The whole thing is a wet area. Alrighty y'all, so I just finished touring the places. Then we're gonna talk more about my outfit, so let's go. Alrighty y'all, I had packages at the door. Alrighty y'all, so like I was saying, I finished my tours and Y'all, I think I know which one I'm, I'm, I want to go for, and I think I know which one I want to end up putting in an offer for and going in a contract because, y'all, it's literally only one left, and I love it so much, and I just think that, like, when she mentioned that upstairs, downstairs, the closet, I'm like, baby, I could do that, say less. So, I don't know, y'all. I think that might be the one. I'm getting pictures sent over so I can actually see it. They didn't have any done already because they all sold, so she said she was sent over pictures to look more, but, y'all, oh, just so excited. I'm so happy. But I'm in my office because I had packages, as y'all seen, at the front door, and I had packages just in my actual office but I come in here and see this huge box right here y'all so y'all I came in here and I had this big huge package which I have no clue what this is I knew all the other packages that I had delivered but this I don't know what this is so I'm gonna go ahead and open it y'all I don't think I ever showed y'all this on a vlog but look at what YouTube sent me it's a whole customized record player and it's so freaking cool because it has my name on it and everything y'all it's so fine look at this y'all look at this it's a full record player. And as you can see, let's focus, baby, so y'all can see the name. Look, there, it's like love. I forgot to show y'all this on the vlog, but yeah, shout out to YouTube. And I love it, and I can't wait to take it out and put it somewhere in my office or my new home. All right, y'all, so. This is the big freaking, dang, this is huge. I kind of think I got an idea of what it is. So we gonna open up to just confirm. And I don't know what my box cut is, y'all, so I gotta try to open this with my freaking nails. All right, y'all, after freaking opening, trying to open this thing without a box cutter for the last, I'm out of breath for one, but I got it. And yes, y'all, this is exactly what I knew it was. Y'all, look at this! OMG! Oh! Y'all, I don't want to take the bubble wrap off, but y'all, dang it. I'm going to find her Instagram because I know exactly who made this. And she sent it open to me to have, and I'm just so excited. Thank you so much, girl. I'm going to put her Instagram on the screen. But I got to figure out where I'm going to put this in the office because this is literally as big as the portrait I have in my house. Like, y'all, look at how big this thing is. Like, this is huge. Look, y'all, Love by Diera with this beautiful picture of myself. Like, look how big this is. It's literally the same height as me. As you can see. <laughs> 
All right, y'all, so this is her Instagram. I don't know how to pronounce this, so I ain't gonna even try, but this is the Instagram. And y'all, look at how dope it is. She is actually someone we featured during our Black History Month for like black businesses, so it is black owned. So shout out to her and thank you so much for, oh, here it is, y'all, on Instagram right here. Here it is, and I loved it too, yes. And I love it even more in person, y'all. It is so nice. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put it. All right, y'all, so I just got the pictures of the place that they sent over and I love it. So I think what we're about to do is get ready to put in an offer so they can write up the contract, y'all. Ooh, so excited, but I'm about to get ready to head out my office because I got my packages and I need to go run somewhere else. All right, y'all, so I've made it to the donut shop I was telling you about so I can go in and get these donuts I wanna try. Secured the donuts. Ta da! Y'all, so these are the two that I wanted. This is Ube Pina Colada, so we got a filling in there. And these two is the brown butter salt. And I just knew that was gonna be good, sound good, which is why I got two. So oh, I can't wait to try. All right, y'all, so I'm about to try the Ube one first. Look at it. And as y'all can tell, it's purple. Ooh, and it got filling in it. Yum. Look at the filling in the inside. This is good, but I know what ube tastes like. And I don't know if I'm getting that ube taste. Because you see it's purple. I don't know if it tastes like ube, but it's good. I'm going to get this like a, a solid a nine, y'all. It's good. Now this, I know it's probably going to be like my favorite. It's a sea salt one, y'all. Let's try this. I'm glad I already got water that I got from my tour, so I already had water to drink. Baby, this is a 10 out of 10. This is my type of donut. I gotta warm this up to try it warm, but y'all, this is so good. This is a combo here, 10 out of 10. All right, y'all, so I've made it back home. I'm about to get ready to get my wine, as y'all know, and then go upstairs so we can do this little chit chat, and I can just catch y'all up on life, because baby, today, like, literally in minutes, seconds, like, things can just change for the better. Y'all, just super excited, but let me get my wine. Y'all, this is the one that I'm drinking, y'all, and it is because it's so freaking sweet and y'all know I love anything extra 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 sweet. I love things sweet. So deliver up. Alrighty y'all, y'all know what's happening. Your girl is finally sitting down and giving y'all a little life update and catching y'all up on things because I feel like I haven't done this in a while, but on top of that, I've been like on go, 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 go. So I just haven't had time to just get my thoughts together and really let them out and let y'all know, you know, what I've been up to, what I've been doing and what's to come. But geez, got my little drink, cheers. I asked you guys to give me some questions and just life update questions y'all wanna know about. So I screenshotted a few so that I can answer for you guys and catch y'all up. So I guess the first one would be, are you happy? Somebody asked me that and I thank you so much for asking me that y'all. That means a lot to me to really just ask how I am and am I really happy and am I genuinely happy? So to answer that question, the answer is yes, y'all. I am so happy. I feel like I'm the happiest I've ever been, like where, I, where I'm at in life and like just where I'm headed and where I know I'm headed. Like y'all, like my mental, Physical, spiritually, all of that, emotionally, I feel like I'm very, I'm kind of getting there a little bit emotionally. But like far as everything else, I feel like I'm in a good space. Like y'all, it's just a lot because I gotta catch y'all up on so much because a lot of people ask me about my mental health as well, which I know I always touch on that. So I mean, I might as well touch on it. I don't think it's repetitive because I feel like things change. But y'all, far as my mental, my mental has been in a great space. I recently, not recently, but like a few months ago, which I wanna talk on this topic as well because I feel like a lot of people battle it, but you know, nobody really speaks on it but like y'all your girl had a freaking whole anxiety attack and I was just like freaking out and I'm like a type of person who literally goes to the doctor every two months I went to my doctor y'all and they told me I've been to the doctor six times this year and we only how many months we only like six months into this year so it's given I went to the doctor every freaking month but y'all I had a freaking panic attack a freaking panic attack anxiety attack and it was just like what I feel like it was just a lot y'all because I feel like I've had times where I just like hyperventilate but that was like I feel like I couldn't breathe Child, I thought the Lord was taking me on home. And I was like, whew, I gotta go to the doctor to check on myself. But they pretty much, you know, rest assured me that like they did some type of skin, which I don't know, it checks your heart to make sure your heart is good. Everything was good, y'all. I'm healthy, I'm good. But they were just pretty much saying what causes this is pretty much stress. And I feel like I, I wouldn't say I have been stressed, but in a way I have, because just like, it's so much going on. Like it's a lot going on at once. It's a lot happening in the world. I'm a just type of person who just always wonder about the what ifs and the what's to come and how can I prevent, like I'm just, 
just the type of person who always trying to prevent something without just living. You see what I'm saying? So I feel like I've gotten better to, with just living in the moment, but like I felt like I fell back down in a trap of just like, oh, what, what, how, how can I control this? How can I control that? And oh, I, this needs to be done. That needs to be done. And just running myself dry, which is why I feel like that is what happened because that freaking panic attack was scary, y'all. And I was just like, that was a sign for me from the universe to be like, slow down, calm down. Just go with the flow. Like that's really what I feel like I have been doing, but I had to take a step back and that had to happen to put me back on track again and tell me like, go back to what you was doing before because that was good. And don't get off track from that because I feel like it was just like my mind and it was just like, I had to get myself out of that. <sighs> but like now, y'all, I am in a good mental space. I'm in a good space physically, emotionally, all of that. Like I'm getting back on track and just learning to, you know, understand things that I cannot control. It's okay for me to not be upset when things don't don't go the way I envision it and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, ugh. and I feel like just going with the flow, just living life and letting life take you where it's supposed to take you and taking the signs that you've given and just, you know, living life to the fullest. So that's where I'm at, y'all. But yes, I am happy. I feel like I'm in a great space. I am just like, just so happy, y'all. A lot of y'all been saying your girl has been glowing. I recently just got back from LA. So I was out there for Shalom's gender reveal. And that was, I feel like that was like one of my favorite trips to LA. Like, I don't know what it was, but it was one of my favorite trips. And like a lot of people was coming in and tagging me on Shalom's gender reveal post. Like, oh, the air was glowing. There she is. Like, girl, where you been? <laughs> So y'all been seeing the glow at me. Your girl is just, I am happy. So the next question was, well, y'all, this has been a, I don't know where, when, how, what. I mean, I get it, but I don't because let's be real. But a lot of people has been asking me, am I pregnant? How many months along am I? Because this Twitter picture went viral of this girl who looked like me. And I literally showed my mom that picture and she was like, when did you do this? As if it was me. But y'all, y'all know dang on well your girl is not pregnant. Y'all know dang on well I ain't getting no pregnant until I'm married. I'm not having no kids. Like where I'm in life, I don't want no kids. I ain't having no kids. I'm straight. No, I'm not pregnant. For all the people who's asking if I'm pregnant or thinking this is why I be MIA, y'all know why I be MIA. When I'm MIA, I'm either working, it's a mixture of working and, you know, just living life without having to pick up the camera and living life, focusing on work behind closed doors and doing things behind closed doors so that I can come back and get myself together mentally and all of that so that my videos can be even better. So yes, y'all. To answer that question, I'm no weeks alone. I am not pregnant. I am not having a baby. Another question was, how does it feel to have a successful business? And to answer that question, where I met with my business, like, yes, I am so grateful. Like my business, like people look at my business and be like, dang, I can't believe your business is only one year Years old like yes because you like look at my business and what I've done and like just how me and my team have just created so much in a year like people look at it like it's been around for years so I'm very blessed and it feels amazing but like where I want my brands to be and where I envision it to be it ain't even there yet so I can't like this feeling now is amazing but like I want to go bigger I want to go better and that's what it's giving like y'all know every campaign every time I do something it's gonna be bigger than the last so that's just where I met with it but overall I am super 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 blessed super happy because you guys show so much love and so much support and you guys really appreciate the creativity and like the things that I do and how I you know my thought process behind every single thing that I do when it comes to my brain and just in general you guys really appreciate that and y'all really see it so thank you so much it just feels amazing because the love it, it shows me like you doing something right like the outpour of support like every everything it's just letting me know that I'm doing something right and the fact that I am in this position now and I'm I'm blessed to pretty much pay people to promote my brand and bring creators on who can participate in campaigns when it comes to my brand and open that door for different people and different creators to be a part of my brand by being paid like that is a blessing for me to put money in other people's pockets who has been nothing but supportive who love my brand as much as I do so I think that is a blessing to like how the tables just do a full circle like you know brands pay me to promote their brand and now I'm in a position to pay people to promote my brand and pay people to make content for my brand like that is a blessing and I love that piece of it as well. Like that is like, oh, I just, and I know a lot of people ask me like, how can I be a brand ambassador and all of that? But I have something coming. So you guys stay tuned, but I've been working on a lot of things and that's like a big piece of it. Like I have did one-off campaigns when it comes, you know, with creators that I paid to, you know, do create content and stuff for my brand. But I have something else coming for you guys who's been asking about how can it be a brand ambassador for Love Bay and stuff like this. So stay tuned for that. But yes, y'all, I'm super excited for what's to come and I'm super excited that I'm blessed and put in this position to give back to people 
people as well and help people expand their brand and expand what they want to do in life when it comes to social media and social media influencers and all of that like the world is just it's never ending and it's always something new every time so i'm very excited to expand and i'm very very excited to give people opportunities somebody said do you feel more stable when you're single or taken i'm not really 100 percent sure how to answer this question because i'm not sure what this question is asking me but if i'm reading it correctly do you feel more stable when you're single or taken i feel like i feel as stable as possible where i'm at now so i guess single <laughs> but i'm definitely i like the journey that i'm on i like the path that i'm on far as like being a single woman and pretty much doing this journey that i'm on and this new chapter of my life that i'm on by myself like the whole purchasing property and all of that like moving to a different state in a different city hours and hours away from what i'm used to like by myself like that is that's a big accomplishment y'all and i feel as stable as possible so i guess the answer to that question it would be single but i don't know if that even makes sense i mean i feel like i would feel secure because like i say y'all all the time i've touched on this when it comes to being in a relationship and when it comes to being single regardless of the two make sure you always have your own that's just number one so i will feel stable in a relationship and i will still stable single because how i am single is how i would be in a relationship as well when it comes to just feeling stable like I will have my own things that I own I'll have my own money I'll have my own every single thing so yes this next question was really good let me take this little sip y'all because y'all know I be getting to talking and I don't be sipping because this drink literally stays right where it's at but the question was what stage in life you at right now and but that's a good question because I'm gonna say the stage that I feel in life right now is pretty much boss lady like I feel like that is the era and that is the stage that I'm at in life like I am an adult I am 27 y'all I'm gonna say this again I am 27 so it's time for me to you know like I live alone I've done all these things when it comes to you know being an adult on my own and stuff like that but like it's time for me to go to the next level like I said moving to another city and state where where my mom isn't that's a big piece Insur me getting my own insurance was a big piece child buying my own property like all of that is just like I'm in my boss girl like real deal adult era and I ain't talking about ERA baby I'm talking about ARA but y'all that's the era that I'm in I'm in my boss lady era and it is time like it is time for me to pretty much move to the next level you see what I'm saying like it's time like I feel like I am a person who you know sometimes I get in my head about you know what's next and change and all of that but I feel like you're not gonna be able to really get to the place that you're gonna be just being comfortable and I feel like I get comfortable in situations and I get comfortable in places and as soon as I do that God let me know like you can't get too comfortable don't get too comfortable so that's just where I'm at with it and that's like the main reason where I'm at right now with my whole me you know pretty much coming to the realization and me thinking on it and me sitting long and hard and just telling myself like are you ready and me realizing that you are ready like it is time it is time for the next level and you're not gonna get to the next level of being comfortable so i hope that answers the question but a lot of people ask me have i moved to la yet and another thing too that i really want to touch on is listen y'all my number one thing that i do not play about is my safety and number one thing i do not play about is like my space like my personal space like when i'm out in public and you guys see me like baby hey give me a hug i love y'all so much but one thing i don't play about is my safety and my home and my family and all of that so when people ask me like have i moved to la like it's something that i can let y'all know like yeah this is what i'm doing but like i'm not even the type of person that do that anyways like i tell you guys when things happen after the fact i'm just moving like i'm moving and i don't want nobody to know what's my next move so you guys ask me have i moved to la i don't know but one thing i do know is that i'm buying a property so let me touch on to that because a lot of people ask me have i found a place or have i moved yet so the answer to that question no i haven't 100 percent moved yet but i am in the process of buying a place which i feel like i found a place and to touch on that too because a lot of people like you ain't never getting us a house tour again and yes you are correct i'm never ever moving on moving forward when it comes to youtube and all that i'm never doing house tours i'm never documenting my full place like i'm never doing it again because like i said my number one priority is my safety and where i live and i don't play about where i stay you know what i'm saying where i lay my head and where i feel like i'm at home and i'm supposed to be comfortable i'm not supposed to be on edge i'm not supposed to be you know what i'm saying nah and that's number one so yes guys i'm sorry i'm never doing a house tour again it's not happening and where i'm moving or where I've looked at you know I'm not gonna pretty much say I'm not gonna see the finishes y'all not gonna see y'all already don't see you know too much when it comes to like where I live and stuff like I've done house tours before but I'm not doing no more house tours child y'all will see the inside of my house because it's obviously the where I would be vlogging and stuff like that but it's not gonna be any more full house tours y'all will see when I'm decorating my place when I'm doing different renovations because 
I am because the first thing I'm doing when I close and when I go into contract and I actually close will be building my freaking upstairs downstairs closet. So yes, y'all, I have found a place. And like I mentioned, I got my pre-approval and that was kind of like the time for me to go out and look at these different places and really see what it is I like and what I don't like. And I feel like I looked at about four or five different places and some I didn't even show, but the one that I love and I'm going with, it is so nice, it is so beautiful. Like I can give y'all the specs of it, but like I can put an elevator. I'm gonna get my upstairs downstairs closet. It's very open. There's a lot of light, which I love because I need, I need a lot of natural light. Like I don't like filming in places where it's not natural light. Like I don't like lights on because it gives that yellow tint and I just like everything to be real nice and natural. But it's just a lot of space, a lot of storage, which I need because I feel like I'm outgrowing where I live now. So we'll get into that as well. Okay, because like I mentioned, like what I what my plan, what my original plan was, you know, I was thinking about oh being by coastal, which you know, Atlanta, LA, and not just doing a full move to LA because my main thing was LA is somewhere I want to live for about two years. Two, three, one year. Like I don't want to, like I know for a fact LA is somewhere I want to live forever. So my whole thing was I don't want to have to pick up and move all my furniture days away, which that's how long it would take to pretty much move all your stuff to LA. Like LA is about a day drive when you're driving from Atlanta, Georgia. And have my stuff, I'm gonna be driving. So I was just like, I don't wanna have to get up, move all my stuff to another city that I plan on being or that I only want to be there for a short period of time just to experience it. Like I'm always out in LA. Like and even when I live that live there and then when I move back and I'll do all of that, I'm still going to be going to LA. So it just makes sense for me, like not having to pick up all my stuff, you know, move it all in LA. And I was looking at different places and it was places that I was interested in far as like places fully furnished and all of that. So that's just kind of where I was at with it. And when it comes to the place that I'm staying now, my original plan was to buy the townhome that I'm in and then rent it out and then go to LA. But I was like, mm, I don't even want to buy this place no more. I don't want to, I'm not interested in buying it anymore. So I was just like, you know, go back on the market, you know, look around. I got a realtor, she helped me find a place. She sent me over so many nice places, y'all. And I was just like, you know, cause one, it's a different, it's a lot of things that go into find a place. And I was just like, one of the things that I want in a place that I'm buying is a waterfall island. So that's number one. And just like a big, more open space. And it's just like everything that I can get when it comes to buying a property, I would want all that. And then, you know, also I spoke to my cousin and stuff like that, who always steers me in the right direction. And she's just like, make sure at the end of the day that you know that this isn't your fair bone. And that's the thing that I had to realize because your girl, like, I'm like, I want this, 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 and this, and that. And it doesn't have to be that way. And also too, like if I'm purchasing a place, I can go in and change things whenever I want because I own it, which is a good thing. And me not having to pretty much go in and be like, this is all the things that I want and me not being set on it. Because like I said, it's not gonna be my forever home. I'm investing in property. That's where I'm at right now. Like it's time for me to do that. That's just where, where I feel like. And I was just like, you know what, you're right. And then when it comes to everything else in a home, like an actual home, I can build it if that's the case. When the time comes for me to actually buy an actual my forever home. So yes, guys, I guess that's pretty much like the update when it comes to me moving and everything. But that's where I'm at with it. I was thinking about it considering buying because I've already was in the market of and I've already in my head that you know what I'm it's time for me to purchase a place and I was thinking about purchasing where I live now because I do rent but they did offer to sell it to me so I thought about that too but I just thought like you know I can go look around somewhere else and find something better that I actually, you know, would be cool with purchasing. Like, you, you know, like rent is different. But like when your money is going to somewhere, you actually buying a place, you know. And like I said, my number one top priority is my safety. And so when it comes to like me buying a property and all of that, I want to make sure like all those boxes are crossed off. So gated, check, number one, security, check, number two, like all those things. So I mean, that's pretty much the updates and you know, I'm just where I'm at. Just like at the end of the day, y'all, where I'm at and where I'm headed, it just has too much value. And I feel like this is important. Like this is important, y'all. Please, 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 please know. Like when you get to a point in life that you want to buy property and you want to do all those different things, make sure your boxes are checked. You crossing off every single thing. And also make sure like, cause this is where I'm at with it, y'all. Nobody will ever be able to find where I live because everything that I'm purchasing and that I'm owning from here on out, when it comes to a car, when it comes to a freaking house, when it comes to a townhome, when it comes to anything that I'm purchasing out of my pocket, out of my money, out of my dime, out of my pocketbook, 
nobody's gonna know because it's gonna go under my trust. So please, y'all, this is advice for, you know, upcoming entrepreneurs and people who are interested in starting their own business, stuff like that. Please have a trust. And when it comes to buying things, put it under your trust so that it's no trace of coming back to who you are. You see what I'm saying? Like nobody will ever be able to find where I live because it's not gonna be in my name. It's not gonna be anything anybody will ever know. So yes, y'all, I'm super excited for this new journey. So yes, y'all, that's pretty much where I'm at with it. And I think I found the actual place that I'm interested in buying. I've already got my homeowner agreement, my home purchase agreement. And yeah, so that's kind of like where it's gonna be moving from. And I know I asked, I mean, somebody asked me this question was pretty much like when you're MIA, does that mean you're taking, oh, it says, why do you post less frequently? Is it still because of your mental break? So to answer the question, yes. Usually it's kind of like a mixture of things. Like I said, I'm either working on my brand or things coming up for my brand different things that I want to extend in addition to my brand and on top of that just everyday life like I said I'm in my adult era I'm in my boss later era like it's a lot of things that I have to do that just requires my attention far as like what I'm doing now like I just mentioned like when it came to coming to a realization that I'm ready to purchase looking for a place having a realtor making sure you know I have all these forms and all these documents and all these different things when it comes to the process of buying a house like the pre-approval like y'all when I tell you that form was like, it's gonna be 20 minutes, it's gonna be cool. It took me at least three hours to complete my pre-approval form. Like it took a long time. Like it's so much stuff that goes into it and so much stuff that you have to have. And it's just a lot of stuff that takes away from my brain of thinking of what to create. So you see what I'm saying? Like in order for me to be in my best space when it comes to me vlogging and you know, creating and different stuff like that, I have to be in my right mind. And my head cannot be full of so much stuff at once, which is why I feel like I probably had a freaking anxiety or a panic attack that one time because I'm like, baby, like, there's a lot going on. It's just so much happening. Just, you know, taking a step back and not posting often. But uh, I feel like I'm at a space now where it's like, it's time. It's go time, baby. I'm about to get back very consistent on YouTube. I have so much coming for my brand and just a lot. But I feel like right now, it's still gonna be, like I said, I'm pacing myself because I have a lot that's about to ha happen and about to go down. And especially with me going into this process of closing and buying a house and buying property it's gonna be a lot it's gonna be a process it's gonna be a journey and I'm gonna definitely document some things for y'all but like I said I'm never doing house tour again <laughs> I'm nobody will know my layout on my house and like I said like everything is going under my trust so nobody will even be able to google Zierra Taylor and things be attached to me especially when it comes to my car and all that and I was thinking about that because another question was did you get a new car that was another thing where I'm like hmm everybody knows I have a Tesla and that's fine and that's dandy but I'm at this point where like I don't even want people to know the car that I'm driving like it's just too much happening in this world it's just a lot like it's just so much going on in this world and people just it's like people are losing their minds and it's just like it's a sad thing to see because I feel like this world and the world that we live in don't take mental health seriously and I feel like that should be number one priority when it comes to people being able to you know work and live life and be happy like mental health it costs and mental health also is a luxury and I feel like it shouldn't even be that way like a bit ha like be having your mental health and having all the resources to make sure your mental health is good like I feel like all that should be free but you know that's another topic that I'm I really want to touch on because I'm very big on like mental health and I'm it's, I take it seriously because I feel like people don't take that, that stuff seriously and people spiral out of control and the way the world is at and where the world is at like people minds like things have a hold on people minds and a lot of people aren't emotional emotional intelligent and they don't know how to you know what is it express their emotion express how they feel which I feel like people People don't have the resources to you know want to better their mental health or focus on their mental health so I'm very like I'm very big on that and I very I want to do something I want to do more when it comes to that because I I am a person where people look at me like oh you have this and that like you don't go through things but that's far from the truth and like I said my number one priority is my safety my family my employees my friends like everybody that I care about and myself <laughs> top of the list like you know what I'm saying and that's just where it's at like I'm just at a point where I just want to live a life where I'm not looking over my shoulder I'm not worried about certain stuff you see what I'm saying like at the end of the day things happen in life but if you can prevent certain things I mean I see I wonder like why not you see what I'm saying and that's kind of like where I'm at and I just really in a point where like I don't want people to be all in my house and see every single thing that's in my house like no that's why I'm saying I'm not doing house tours anymore and I'm at a point where like okay yes everybody knows I have a Tesla I wanted to wrap my car but I'm like that's gonna make my car even more noticeable and you know when I'm out or whatever the case may be so I'm like mm, 
nah, I don't even want to do that. But like I said, I don't want people to even know the car I'm riding in. Like, yes, I got a Tesla, but my other car, people won't, they won't, no one won't know the color. They won't know, you know what I'm saying? You can know the model, but you might gonna know the color. You're not gonna know all of that. And like I said, like, this world is crazy. Like, it is too much happening. Like, please, 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 y'all, all y'all, all my supporters, I love y'all so much. So please stay safe out here and please protect yourselves at all costs. Us women, like, we need to always be alert because it's just so much happening. Like, at the end of the day, like, women, it's just a lot just going on in this world and it's just so sad to see but like please y'all for all my supporters women and men like just please stay safe out here and just yeah so the last question I'm answering is pretty much how do you keep your mind pure and focused on your goals which is a good question because I feel like a lot of people always ask me this which I feel like I've touched on this before but I feel like it's just never ending advice and never ending knowledge that I always gain and that I always can let you guys know because y'all always ask me y'all always wonder but I think one of the main things that I feel like keeps my mind pure and me focused on my goal is just what has happened in my life and what has transpired in my life and where that has gotten me where I'm at today and it was no it was nothing but the Lord and I feel like God is someone who gives you like I just feel like please y'all understand this you are given signs and you are given these different eye openers to really continue on your path in the right direction and I feel like when you ignore certain signs it's hard to be blessed it's hard to receive your blessings if you're you know pretty much ignoring the things that God is pretty much showing you for what it is you see what I'm saying so I feel like that is one of the main main reasons that I can keep my mind pure and keep my mind focused on my goals because I've seen what that has done and I'm always been a person because it's just like I feel like also too is in my blood like I feel like I've, I grew up with a you know an amazing family who does nothing but steer me in the right direction and is always there to support me and making sure that you know I'm doing the things I'm supposed to do I'm staying a good person like my, my head is on my shoulder like I don't slip away from the reality of what it is in life like I have a good amazing family like my grandparents my granddad my granny my mom my aunties my uncles my cousins like they've all been there for me since birth and always steered me in the right direction when it came to just life. And I feel like this is just like a major part of it all. Like just my family is a reflection of me. So that's the reason why I am the way I am as well. But it's definitely because I understood what it was. And I understood how I could, you know, focus on certain things and put my mind and put my energy in certain things and how they can benefit me. Because y'all, I don't know I say this all the time, but when you put your energy and you put your mind on certain things, that's where you're going to be at. And I feel like when you put your mind to things that matters and things that you want to focus on the goals and the dreams that you have when you put your mind on that and you keep your mind on that and you don't you know lose track of it you will see I'm a living testimony of keeping my eyes on the prize and keeping my head where is it and focusing on what my true goal is in life you can't knock me off you can't knock me off the path that I'm on like but it was this post that I seen which y'all this post hit hard because it said I cannot control how my ancestors protect me proceed with caution and I feel like that is another reason why it's just like baby blessed and highly favored because my ancestors don't play about me and y'all know my granddad meant so much to me and I just feel like a lot of things that I've been all the signs and all the things that I've seen and all the words of encouragement every single thing and I feel like it always come back to my granddad and I feel like I'm being watched over 24 7 and I'm not talking about cameras I'm not talking about security I'm talking about the person up there the people up there my granddad, like my granddad is watching over me 24 seven and I just know it and I feel it and I feel like I've gotten signs that, you know, he's there and he's protecting me. He's he's making sure I'm on the right path and I'm staying on the right path. So that post hit child because it's the truth. It is the truth. But like I said, y'all, that's pretty much like my life updates because that's pretty much the main thing people was asking about was like my moving because I gave y'all a little hint, hint. But I wanted to just pretty much give y'all an update on what it is and how it will be moving forward because like, like I said, I love y'all so much and I thank y'all for being on this journey with me and continuing this journey with me because y'all, it's a lot and it's gonna be litty. And like I said, I'm gonna keep y'all posted and I'm gonna update y'all on what's to come. But that's pretty much the update on what's happening and what's been going on and what I'm doing behind closed doors when I ain't posted shit. But yes, y'all, your girl is about to become a homeowner and I'm like, oh, this is crazy. It's time. And like I said, like you get too comfortable, baby, you'll get tapped on your shoulder in a month, two weeks, five years, no matter how long. But when you get comfortable and when you really settle in a situation and settle in a position on where you think you just comfortable, they gonna show you and tell you and make you realize that you can never, ever get too comfortable. 
and that's just my little spiel for y'all today and my little life update. So I hope you all enjoyed. I don't know what I'm about to do. I'm about to go figure out what I want to eat because I'm hungry and I haven't eaten all day and I've just been on go, 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 go all day today. So yeah, I'm about to figure out what I'm eating. But yes, y'all, that is pretty much the update. And I'm super excited for what's to come and just everything that, you know, I have in store because it's a lot. And like I said, I'm gonna take y'all on this little journey with me. But I just wanted to let y'all know and keep y'all posted and updated on everything. And that's pretty much where I'm at with it. Like, I'm sorry guys, I'm never doing a house tour again, never. I can't, I can't, I can't do it, especially when I'm in the process of buying a home. Like, that's different. Like, I, I'm gonna own a place, I'm gonna own property. But um, just know, your girl upstairs, downstairs closet is gonna be in the making soon. And I can't wait for to document that and show y'all when it's all done and when that's in the process of being done and complete. But till then, child, I got adult things to do and things ain't sweet because I got work to do and I have things that I have to finish and things that I have to complete. And like this process is gonna be a process and I just have to prepare myself for it when it comes to not only moving, but buying. But yes, cheers to new beginnings and I'm super excited to, you know, take you guys along. Cheers. Y'all, so these shoes that I have, that I bought, literally, I'm already preparing and shopping for when I go visit Tokyo. But y'all, look at these shoes. These are the pair of shoes that I got for Tokyo, and I'm so excited about them. Like, look at these shoes, y'all. Look at them. It's like little Hello Kitty out of them. Oh, it's gonna be so cute, y'all. This is gonna be the vibe. Look at them, look at them. Oh, y'all, look at them. I gotta try them on and see how I look on my feet. But yes, y'all, I've already been buying stuff and preparing myself for my trip to Tokyo, or whatever that be, but uh, yes, y'all, I'm excited because y'all know Tokyo is like my dream vacation, and I'm just super excited, so I'm already preparing myself because manifestation, baby, I am going. So let me get the fits ready. So y'all, this is what they look like on. Look at it, y'all. <laughs> God, they so cute. All right, y'all, so I think I found a place I'm about to get ready to try because I was craving pasta and I found this place that got jerk salmon pasta. So I'm about to go there and do like takeout and then come back and try to put, get together all this stuff, child. Cause like I said, I've been living out of my suitcase still and I literally been having packages and just, look at this. This was for my last trip when I went to San Antonio. Dumped all that cause I had to go to LA the next day and now it's still sitting there. So I gotta put all my stuff back up, break down these boxes and really get my house clean, baby, because I can't focus with a missing house. All right, y'all, so my food is up. Let me show y'all everything I got. I got fried salmon bites. I got lamb chops, y'all. By the way, this right here was an appetizer. So this is technically an appetizer. They had lamb chops as an appetizer. And I also got jerk pasta with salmon y'all and garlic bread. All right y'all, so I almost forgot, but I've been having this Coke in my refrigerator for the longest because it's supposed to be like some different type of Coke or like Coke that Coca-Cola collaborated with somebody with. But I've been holding it off because I've been meaning to try it on the vlog vlog and I haven't opened it yet. So let me do that first. Cause y'all, it's literally been sitting in my freaking refrigerator for months. So this is what it looked like y'all. You see that? It was like some different customized collaboration. This is good. Y'all, it tastes like rose, vanilla, and Coke mix. That is what the flavor is. That's what the flavor tastes like to me. It tastes like it's rose and vanilla. This is actually way better than regular Coke, y'all. This is good. It's giving like cherry, but it ain't cherry because it gives rose to me, y'all. Rose and vanilla. So y'all, it says transformation flavored on here, but it doesn't actually have like the actual flavor that this is but it's like move that's what say move limited edition i don't know if y'all can see it's a move limited edition and rosalia something like that but y'all this is good when i tell you this tastes better than regular coke in the flavor 10 out of 10 baby it ain't got no aftertaste this is good i like this limited edition baby y'all need to bring this bed forever Mm-hmm. All right, you guys, so I'm about to get ready to close out this vlogging vlog because I am tired, but I'm about to get ready to turn on this freaking Netflix show, The Ultimatum. Y'all, it is so good. I don't know if y'all seen, because I think it's like a season before this new season, but the first season, y'all, was good. This season is good, too, so I'm watching it. I'm about to get ready to turn it on, but I'm about to get ready to close out this vlogging vlog, and I hope you all enjoyed this little vlog and life update and just, you know, excited for what's to come. Like, I'm super excited, and just stay tuned for what's to come, but I'll see you all in the Next vloggy vlog. See you next vloggy vlog. Good night. Bye.